The numbers for May are in. Have the record-breaking numbers come to an end? Stay tuned and find out. Hey guys, Vinay here with Remax Realtron and Toronto Real Estate Genius.com. Welcome to another edition of the Genius Market Report, where we'll be summarizing the Toronto Real Estate Board sales figures for May of this year. Home sales in May of 2021 more than doubled from May of 2020. And that was the second full month of the pandemic, if you do remember. The sales in May of 2021 were up just over 160% over last year. We had 11,951 sales compared to last year's 4,594 sales. Last month, we had 18,586 new listings, which is up year over year about 103% from May of last year, where we only had 9,126 new listings. The average selling price for all home types is up in May to 1,108,000, and that's up about 28% from last year, where we were at 863,000. So let's have a look at our months of inventory, see how we're doing. Months of inventory, divide the sales into the active listings. Uh, so we are sitting at one month of inventory or just above one month of inventory. And that's up from 0.8 months of inventory from April of this year. And it's also down from 2.49 in May of last year. So still a very strong seller's market. Finally, let's look at our days on market. Our average days on market in May was 11 days. That's up from 10 days in April of 2021. So there's been strong demand for home ownership in all parts of the GTA for low rise home types and condominium apartments. And this was basically fueled by obviously the confidence in the economic recovery, you know, people getting vaccinated, uh, the expectation that things are going to get back to some sort of normalcy and obviously the low borrowing costs. So the interest rates still being quite low, despite the changes that came into effect on, um, uh, on June 1st, we still see that interest rates are remaining quite low. And um, we did recognize that there was a decline in sales over the past uh, two months relative to the peak we experienced earlier this year in March. While sales have cooled ever so slightly from March of 2021, um, so have the new listings. And this means that buyers continue to still face competition from other buyers, which results in sales price increases. Now the competition is becoming more widespread with tighter market conditions uh, in the condominium apartment segment as well. And in my opinion, the slight slowdown or adjustment, whatever you want to call it in the market is going to be short lived. I believe that this is your opportunity if you're a buyer if you're upsizing downsizing uh you know this is your opportunity to make that purchase while the other buyers may be sitting on the sidelines taking a break or taking a nap um, this might be your opportunity to get in and get that property and then you know sell your property um, to align the two um, in toronto we are seeing only about 40 percent of the property selling for 100 percent or more of the list price so what does that mean there's not as many multiple offers as you think there are. And um, that may be another opportunity for you to be able to get something um, right now. So if you're thinking of buying or selling, there hasn't been a better time. Want to chat more about real estate? Give me a call. I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. If you're not ready, that's okay. We'll have a virtual coffee, have a chat and get you to that point of getting ready to purchase. Uh, we'll put together a plan for you to get you there. Thank you guys for tuning into this month's Genius Market Report. And remember that now more so than ever, who you work with makes all the difference. If you guys found this video useful, share it with your family and your friends and uh, make sure you guys follow me on Toronto Real Estate Genius. Thank you guys and ciao for now.